Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will start something new. We will switch to the 3D Max and we will create here the room and we will render it. So you want the, a bit photorealistic the room, we will create it here. I will show you from the zero to the final render how you can do it easy. We will use only 3D Max 2017 and Corona Render. The last one, Corona Render, you can get from the Corona site, this uh, you can take it like free, uh, I mean the trial version by 30 days, one month, or you can buy it uh, or even the get the student version. Actually, uh, I highly recommend the student version because it's not different between commercial one and the student version. And uh, so, just go on and then take it. But anyway, I will show you how you can create your room in 3D Max. Uh, without any special things and add-ons. So, let's get start this series. And before we will start, we need to the, make some settings in uh, 3D Max. So open your 3D Max, go to the customize and here the find unit setup. We will work only in millimeters. So the system unit setup, we will choose the millimeters. Let's choose OK and after that here the metric we will choose again millimeters and let's stop again OK. So now we are able to do work and now we need some just plan. I get uh, this plan of the my room. This is actually studio room. I will use it like uh, like tracing. So I will trace it and we will get this room uh, after this all series. So uh, now we need our plan. Uh, here the my top view. I'm using the Alt W to maximize this uh, window. Now I'm using the uh, key M to show the my materials. And here I have the some materials. I don't need that. I will delete it. Uh, I think you don't don't have any materials anyway. So I will delete this view. Okay. So uh, if you your material window not like that, you can change it here. Models and compact material. I think your mat material view like this. I will switch back to the slate material editor. Uh, I prefer that one. And now we need find the. If you are using Corona, we are using the Corona MLT. So I hope you using the Corona because uh, this is will be easy to show you what what we're gonna do. Uh, now we need the bitmap. So and bitmap asking uh, like which uh, uh, which picture we wanna load into uh, 3D Max. So I will load this uh, floor plan and I will tap OK and I will uh, just uh, so just connect to diffuse map because this is diffuse map. Double click on that and show shaded material in viewport. Okay, nice. We we finish with our material. Now we need to create the some plane. I will close it for now. Uh, so uh, we will go the, to the uh, material or to the shapes and we need uh, the plane. Just let's draw some plane. Okay, like this double time of escape. Click on that and now modify and let's let's do the uh, approximately like uh, five meter. 5 meter by 5 meter and I need only one segments okay nice so here the our plane we cannot see anything we need change to default uh, shaded settings and now we get only the color so uh, as you remember here is our material we, we need just connected like this here we are here is our uh, plan so so now we need fit it. Uh, click on the, your plane, go to modify, and we need modifier. We need modifier UV W map here. Let's go to the uh, to the here the bitmap bitmap fit. Click on that, and again choose your picture. Picture image uh, doesn't matter. And as you see, this now uh, the size is right. And now we need to use the mod uh, modificator editable poly. Let's do it and I will do like this. I will do my uh, plane a bit bigger. Okay, like this. Now I will collapse it. Yes. And again, I will go to the UVW map. And now I, I want to use bitmap fit. Now I will think, okay. As you see, the my picture not going the out from the border. 
And if you are not sure you convert it to editable poly or no, you just can uh, click on that, select them, right click, convert to and editable poly. Done. Now again, let's uh, use the Alt W on hotkey. And uh, for example, when I'm click on this window, I'm using the uh, key Z. It's uh, we can uh, fit this uh, into window. And this one I want to change to the uh, front view. Again Z. Okay, and select this plane and let's put it uh, a bit uh, lower somewhere here. It's no matter. Uh, now we need one more plane. Uh, let's create the one more plane. Uh, let's go to the here and plane. And let's create it like this. Okay, select that plane. Let's go to the uh, settings and we know here the 5 meter. And let's write here 5 meter. Okay, oh, it's actually pretty close. We need... Uh, we need now scale it let's scale it so this is i think this is five meter okay so let's check it out yes this is five meter and uh wait uh it will be 180 millimeters it's i think it's too much but we will we'll see no it's right so Okay, now we need to know the size of the our uh, of our walls and our room. So we can continue to um, uh, switch off the uh, grid. Just uh, click on the bottom uh, G, and we will switch off it. So let's go to the top view uh, again. Maximize it and click on the this uh, new plane. Right click, uh, convert to editable poly, and now we are ready to create our uh, our walls. So just uh, choose this uh, uh, H. You can choose it by here the selection H. Choose the H. A sorry again like this. Oh, not this plane. This plane and H and let's put it somewhere here we will start from this side now I will do it like this uh, okay okay so uh, click on this uh, H uh, hold shift and let's continue till here now for that one again hold shift and let's continue until the intersection again hold shift and do it uh, uh, everywhere where we need the cut for example where we need the window or the doors and now, now let's choose this to H and use this uh, uh, make planner by you. Uh, this means like uh, this, this three edges will be in one line. Okay, like this. And let's choose these three edges. Also, we'll use the planner. And let's continue. Again, hold the shift. Okay, we finish with the wall, and now we need optimize our uh, our walls. I'll just use the vertex, and we need optimize uh, this is vertex. Just go to the target uh, weld, and we need weld this all targets like this. Okay, we finish with uh, optimize and now we can extrude our walls. Just uh, let's go to the uh, 3D view to see what will what we will have. Now let's select uh, our plane. 
uh, let's go to modify. Uh, you can find here the editable, editable poly, edit poly. If you don't find it, just go to inside and here you can find it. Edit poly, edit poly, here. Uh, now we need to use the polygons. Let's select all them and extrude. Now I will use the 800 millimeters. Apply, okay. Uh, now I need 1300 millimeters. And last one, it's uh, 900 millimeters only. Okay, like this. So uh, this is our room actually. Uh, we get our room and now we need continue with uh, the walls. So how we can do it? Just click on that polygon and that one together. Uh, go to the bridge. Done. So here the our frame and here same. And again, bridge. Okay. And here the our window. Click on that and the second one and again bridge. So we already have our window. We have the our uh, frame for uh, the doors. Actually, we ha we should have the here too. Let's do it because yes mm -hmm. because here the door let's uh, select all these polygons extrude uh, extrude only 150 millimeters let's apply oh my god sorry misclick and let's choose that one and that one and also bridge okay now everything seems okay. Yes, let's go to the plan. Yes, I did a bit bigger, but we can fix it up. Just uh, select all of them and let's put it back. Now everything okay. And now let's back again to the polygon and we need to delete all of that. Uh, all of that polygon because we mm, cannot see this is from uh, inside our win uh, our room so we don't need these polygons we cannot delete let's select all of top one like this and okay and let's check oh, we have only 150 polygons this is really nice result but we have also the small room anyway we will optimize it more now we will create the floor this main thing let's go back to the to the our plane no i mean the top view plan view and we will continue here first we will back again to the uh, standard primitives and we will choose the plane so before we'll start draw we need to uh, get the snaps so uh make sure your snap right click and snap by vertex here okay now we are ready and we have two different floor type uh, in the living room and kitchen and bathroom we will uh, create one like this okay and now we need separated somewhere here so how we, you you have so many uh the ways how you can do it you can follow me or just choose your way uh, I will use this way, uh, right click, convert it to double poly, now uh, the edges, just I will choose two these edges, connect them, and again these three, uh, three edges and connect them. And let's uh, use again the snaps, I'll snap it here, and these two edges I will choose again, and I will snap it here. So now exactly this, uh, po uh, this plane. Uh, we can delete or we can uh, again use the cut. I will use the cut, this one, from that side, that side, that side. Okay, nice. Uh, uncheck, plane, choose this plane and just delete. So we have two different plane. Click on this, this plane and detach it. Detach like... Uh, floor sorry russian floor two okay and okay and let's go back and let's rename these two just click on them and here plane we will rename it like floor one okay nice 
Uh, now I will uh, apply some materials for them. I will use the color uh, color MLT and let's change some color. For example, for this diffuse, I will change it to the uh, red one and let's apply it. I'm using the shift, hold the shift and just move. Here uh, I will use, for example, uh, maybe the green one for that one. Okay, nice. We did it. Now we need the, our roof. So uh, this actually pretty same. Again, plain. Uh, actually, uh, let's do the box. Boxes will be better for us now. And again, for that side to the other side and a bit extrude. Let's go back to the 3D. As you see, we can see our box, but we cannot, uh, we're not able to see our uh, floor because our floor is here. Let's select our floor. Uh, here on the uh, left view, I'll again use the snap and I'll put it till down. Let's go back to and we can see everything okay. So I will choose this box and I, I'll also snap it here. Box actually too big. Uh, let's make it smaller, not this one. I think this one. And let's make like 100 millimeters, 10 centimeters, I mean. Uh, right click on that. Uh, convert to editable poly and let's delete uh, the tops uh, polygons and one more thing we need extrude uh, this part so how we can do it let's go back to our uh, uh, to our top view uh, we need hide now uh, our roof let's hide it just click on that right click and hide selection okay Let's choose our uh, floor. Let's go back to the H. I'll choose all this H here and I need two. Okay. And let's shift it somewhere here. Okay, like this and I'll choose this one. Okay. And again, I will use this one. So it seems everything okay. Uh, now I need only uh, this edge. I'm holding the shift until here. Okay. So it seems everything okay. Let's go back to the 3D view. Yes, now we have our polygon here. As you see, just one polygon. Uh -huh. And same thing I will do here. Actually, for, from, from that side to here. Let's go again back to the 3D view. H select both of them connect two of them and for that one here okay just select this one hold shift and extrude to here let's go back to 3d and everything all right yes so uh and just right click on this uh, the screen and unhide all and here is our uh, our ceiling here was our floor and before we will continue uh, i'll go back to the mm, tool i'll find the uh, scene explorer and here we will change the name of everything what we can see here for the floor i will change the name like uh, mm, floor uh, toilet to understand this is floor for toilet and this is like living floor living room okay nice and the other box this is uh, our ceiling let's change the name and write the ceiling okay this one what is that uh, this is our reference plane we can also rename it like ref plane and this is our walls so this is pretty it for today we will continue later on just get tuned and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time